U.S. evangelist Reverend Dr. Billy Graham, shown here preaching in New Zealand in 1970, died last night, aged 99. This is precisely what Jesus said. I am. I am from everlasting to everlasting. I am that I am. The U.S. preacher first travelled to New Zealand in 1959 and 10 years later made it to Dunedin's Carisbrook Stadium where 20,000 spectators gathered to listen to his message. His influential ministry still reaches the young faithful today in groups like the Tertiary Students Christian Fellowship. He preaches a message of, of hope and, and love and uh, a God who is um, looking for a relationship with, um, with us. University of Otago student Jeremiah Cappadia remembers Graham preaching to hundreds of thousands of people at a stadium in Los Angeles while former uni student Simon Sim visited the Graham family home in the USA. I've never seen anything like it because to go to a church service sure is like like 50, like 50, 60 people but when a whole like football stadium is filled that shows us how much he was like revered and respected. I think that the Christian faith has has been described um, by by Eugene Peterson to be a long obedience in the same direction, and I think Billy Graham is someone who exemplifies that phrase. In later years, Graham distanced himself from the evangelical political movement he had fostered, avoiding scandals and refusing to endorse candidates or discuss conservative issues. He became very aware of. Um, if he did get on a political issue that within the evangelical movement there would be disagreement and so he did prioritise focus on the essentials of the gospel which was repent and be born again. My parents speaking very warmly of Billy Graham when I was a child because they'd been to meetings that he had spoken at in New Zealand and I think for a lot of people it brought them into the church in a way that gave them a deep um, foundation for their Christian life. Roy N. McKenzie was a Presbyterian minister since 1963, now retired, and remembers Graham's visit to New Zealand that could have been mistaken for a big rugby match, except over 1,000 people, 80% aged under 25, publicly came forward to accept Christ. And of course there were counsellors there on the field to help them, and uh, so it was uh, a very moving time and I believe that that is what's needed today for many people to come to know the Lord in a personal way. The Carisbrook Crusade lingered in local memory for years, reflecting an undeniable drift towards new forms of Christianity. Roselle Le Bone, The South Today.